Now let's look at, because we have two modes to aggregate these links together, so we will introduce the two modes one by one. First, we will introduce the manual mode. So for manual mode, it means we manually configure the connections to construct, to set up this, to create this ether trunk. And when will we use the manual mode? Actually, you see in this example, we typically have two switches, right? And multiple links between the two switches. So if one of the switch cannot support automatic link aggregation, it means one of the switch doesn't support LACP, link aggregation control protocol, then we can only use the manual mode to configure the ether trunk, right? Only when both of the switch support LACP, then we can use the automatic aggregation mode, okay? And if we use the manual mode, uh, in most cases, all the links are active links, and all the active links forward data and evenly share traffic. So if we have four active link, then each of the link will transmit one quarter of the total traffic, okay? And if there is one active link becomes 40, then the LAG will automatically evenly share the traffic among the remaining active links. So if one link fails, then one of the remaining links will transmit for one third of the traffic. So this manual mode actually can work on the LACP incapable, the old or low end devices. However, there are some defects of the manual mode. So one defect is that actually to ensure the ether trunk work properly, the interface and the member interface should meet several requirements. So for example, first, all the peer interface should be reside on the same device. So here, if you configure one connection between S1, switch one, and switch two, and another link between switch one and switch three, actually here at this scenario, these links cannot be manually aggregated together. We can only aggregate these three together. And in manual mode, actually devices doesn't exchange packets. We are configured by our, all the configuration need to be manually confirmed, okay? These are the defects of the manual mode. And another defects of the manual mode is that because there is no message exchange automatically transmitted, so in manual mode, we need to determine the working state by ourselves. So sometimes, for example, here, if we check the state of this interface and we find that the interface state is up, however, they has already had some failure and they has already failed to forward packets, but we cannot find it in the manual mode because we can only check up the interface state. In this scenario, actually, we will wrongly estimate the state of the interface. And this link actually has already been faulty, but we cannot find it. So there will be some error between among this configuration. So this is another defect of the manual mode. We cannot find the state correctly and recover it correspondingly and quickly.